planks. Do we have planks in the way? We do actually have planks in the way. Not that many of them, but planks nonetheless. So, that is a completed uh, production line. 927,000 there. How are you looking? 150. I feel like we can almost get rid of one of these other trains here. I do genuinely feel like we could probably get rid of like this blue one. Cause it's moving near nothing. So let me, let me pause. Oh, we just got steam trucks. Oh, hold on a minute. Uh, manage vehicles. Let's sell. Let's sell the green one. Cause I think it's older. So yeah, sell selected vehicle. Yes. And then let me edit you really quick. So you are 203 capacity. How long is this thing? 290. Okay. So you edit. So if I was to add these, how many do I need to add for 203 capacity? That many. Minus 4 million. Um, I might do it. So that we have two super long trains here. I think I will. I think we're going to modify the blue one. So we have two super long trains. That's all we're going to need for... I say super long. They're not that long. You can go crazy length on these trains. But that way we have, you know, two really long trains on that line. We don't have the third train anymore. I don't think we need it. Uh, I am interested, though. I guess we need to go to vehicle manager, pin it up here and sort by age and start replacing some of our older vehicles. Because we have some horses that have been pulling wagons for 36 years. I think it might be fair to replace those. So they're moving food to the boat and bricks to thingy. All right. Replace cargo. Um, all cargo. Sure. 1.1 million. Why not? There we go. I make them that color. And they actually can be painted. Nice. 33 years on this. I don't think we can afford to do all that. So, uh, sure. That'll be, that'll be all right. Let me, let me see. Where are these, where are these trucks that we got? The little steam trucks. Oh, look at them. With their little, no, the little snoot there at the front. All right, not bad. Not bad at all. We're going to need to go through and upgrade everything, though. We need to get rid of a lot of these horses. Because they're good, and they've been doing good for years, but we want them to start doing better, I think. We uh, we definitely want them to start doing, uh, doing a little bit better. Also, let me see here. How much oil do we have sat here? 75? Do we have... Uh, yeah, we do have a train in the way here. So 75 there, that'll be... That'll be enough to fill this train. I've never actually looked to see how much this train makes when it completes the delivery. So it fills up 203. We'll see how that goes shortly. Uh, I'm also realizing, how are you doing? You going to fill up? No. All right, fair enough. Let me configure this station a little bit because I've just noticed something. We probably want to uh, put that over there and put that over there and then probably want to just cover the platforms a little bit too. Just so the station's a bit fancier, you know? You want one of those fancy train stations. And that seems all right. So yeah, that, that kind of works out. You're going back on there. This train's being held up by the fact that there's a big cargo massive cargo train passing it. I'm sure they're thrilled about that. I'm sure they are thrilled about uh, about this situation. There you go. So you can, you know, get on with your business again. Cargo train goes through. We got this cargo train back here with 57 units on board. Let's uh, keep this guy pinned to the top right so I can keep an eye on it to see how much money it happens to make when it uh, gets to where it's going. Where is the... Where's the other cargo? There it is. Oh, you've already made your money. How much did you make? I have, I have no idea how much it made. It has got planks on board, though. 
it does have planks on board. So it's, it's going to be doing its thing. It's got planks. It's going to be picking up uh, 85 units of plastic. So that's good. So that's actually working. Let's go look at you because you're... Uh, yeah, you're not that close. Never mind. All right. So the new the new production lines are actually working. That's that's the big takeaway from this is, uh, is what that is. That's kind of cool. What about down here? How are we looking? A bunch. So we we are gonna need more vehicles to be moving the. Uh, are we? We are losing money. We are potentially losing money. Uh, let me see here. You. How much do you make? Two hundred and three barrels of crude oil. We're probably not moving enough of this either. To be fair. So that is five point five million. And then I assume, yeah, we are losing it because the station's overloaded because we're not moving enough of it to turn into regular oil. How many vehicles you? Crude oil to oil to fuel. Manage vehicles. We have six. We uh, probably want to replace those, to be honest. So you can do crude oil to oil to fuel. Replace those. Um, we probably want to duplicate them as well. Probably want to do that. There we go. So we'll do that. That way we can actually start moving more of this stuff. So that'll hopefully help things along a little bit. Is uh, is what I'm thinking, and hopefully stop this station from uh, overloading. Basically, hopefully we can actually you know move a good amount of stuff here because they can each carry six, which is you know better than. Better than what they were hauling before, which was like four, I think. So they can do their thing. Uh, let me see. You're coming up here. Production shipment aren't very good, apparently. Transport solid, though. So you guys are bringing that up here. What are you doing? Are you producing or are you not? There's two units there. Three unit. Uh, it, is, it is producing just slowly. I think production's gone up a little bit. So we'll see how that plays out. It looks like things are getting better. This still seems like it could use more vehicles, but I don't want to go too crazy with it. So I think we'll be all right there. I think that'll just improve things in the south a little bit. Uh, you are loaded up like crazy as well. How many vehicles are on that line? Nine of them. Okay. We might be in a situation where we just have way too much oil getting backed up. Same with like the 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 logs and the, the planks down here. A lot of planks. Might want to do something about that. Definitely. Definitely probably maybe want to do something about that. Uh, 2.2 .2 million there. The planks went exactly where we wanted them to go. So that's good. They are being kind of worn away though, because there's not uh, there's not enough transport going on. Yeah, we're gonna need to uh, we're gonna need to really dive into this and figure out how to fix all of that. Um, all like the what is it? The waste, I guess, is is what we could call it. There's a lot of like wasted resources that are just not getting anything done with them. So yeah, we might want to figure that out. It is a one-to-one -one here as well, so we should be seeing ridiculous amounts of fuel getting made. Should be, being the uh, the key word there. I guess a lot of it probably goes to Greensboro. No, it doesn't. Do we not ship fuel to Greensboro? We do. I think. <laughs> I think. Did we never set up that line? I don't think we did. Ooh. Ooh. People of Greensboro are going to be furious. Imagine that. Like, you you work in a fuel refinery. I mean, I guess that's kind of the way things can be sometimes. But you work in a fuel refinery. You're sitting at home, home freezing while the people of Indianapolis are sitting up there nice and warm and toasty. Mmm. I'm sure... I'm sure the people of Greensboro love Indianapolis. I'm sure they're really big fans. Uh, how much is sitting here? Yeah, we need to upgrade those vehicles. Uh, let me see here. Let me see here. 
Who is hauling planks? You are hauling planks. There's 10 vehicles in the line. We do have a bit of money, so replace them with these guys. Make them that color. And that'll mean they can haul a bit more. So we'll uh, we'll do we'll do that kind of thing. You're coming in here. Have you got anything for me? 1.3 million, not bad. Picking up how much? 165. Again, not bad. Could we maybe move? So what is this? Crude oil to oil? Wow, that line is um. May that's that's a lot of production. Okay, we might want more vehicles in that line then. You vehicles um could upgrade them actually thinking about it yeah 15 vehicles upgrade to you make them that color so there we go we'll do that and see how things play out i guess crude oil to indianapolis could be upgraded as well so let's do that make them that color so there we go we'll move a bit more product into indianapolis we'll move some over to uh, elsewhere as well. How much? 50 planks. Not bad. So that's stocking up in a really good way. This thing uh, has 30 of 35. Well, 30 goods on board. 582,000. It will fill up with planks, which is beautiful. I actually left some behind. There were that many. So that's kind of what we want to see. You're coming in here with absolutely nothing on board. That's a problem. So this train isn't really making any money. Have I messed up my uh, my cargo train line then? Yes, I have. It is no longer profitable. My boats, on the other hand, surprisingly profitable, but the cargo train line, not so much. Yeah, we might want to do something about that. We, uh, we might want to do something about that. Also, we don't have any more passenger vehicles yet, so we can't do much about replacing the uh, loop lines at the minute. Might want to look into that, too. Definitely, uh, definitely, probably going to want to want to look into that. So we've got 90 bits of plastic. You can haul... How much can you haul? Let's see. I mean, you'll, you'll fill up here, I think. 91. Okay, we got a full train. Not bad. That seems good. That seems like what we wanted to do. Are you producing anything? You've got some stored steel. I don't think you have any uh, planks yet. That's the machines line. Do we have anyone hauling planks? It doesn't actually look like it, does it? So steel, uh, you are not hauling... Uh, we do have planks down here. Why is there steel here? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Manage vehicle, all of you. No, I need to manage the line. We don't want to move steel. We're not moving steel anywhere. Steel does not go Does not go from here. That is not why That's not why there's a drop-off down here. Okay. Let me see. Let me let me, let me let me let me manage these lines. That's not quite right. Uh, so, so planks. This one. You are loading up on planks. You are unloading planks. You are not doing anything other than that. No steel. There is no steel to be going through there at all. Good news is they're picking up planks. They're taking them north. So. That'll soon be a production. I am cons uh, I'm, I'm concerned, though, that we are losing more money than we're making. Which I'm pretty sure we are. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that is the uh, that is the case that we're losing more than we're uh, than we're making. Which I think, again, is probably just down to the fact that this this train here is uh, is here and is doing ridiculous work. Although that's sad, 62, that ain't bad. You know what I might do? Might wait for this guy to uh, go ahead and drop off that 92 barrels. And then sell it. 
and see if we can double the length of uh, the other oil train. Because I reckon we could. This thing fills up relatively regularly. So maybe we could do that. How much? Uh, 59 fuel there. Not bad. The fuel production could be better. I'll give it that. The fuel production could definitely be better. But I think that's what we'll do. I think... I think we double the length of the of this guy. And we see how that goes for us. Hopefully very well. Hopefully it doesn't cause anything to go too crazy or to, to break or anything. Also, it hopefully actually works. That would be a bit of a pain if it didn't. But uh, let's, you know what? Manage vehicle. Let's edit selected vehicle. It is currently 290 meters long. So this thing needs to be close to 600. Is what it needs to be. It needs to be 580 meters long. So let's try it. Let's see if we can do that. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, condition. Yeah, it gets poor if I do too many wagons. I can go up to 328. Unless I can add another locomotive to it, which I don't think I can. Or maybe. I, wait, can I put. Oh. Oh, hold on. We can. We can put a locomotive at the, at the back end of it. Right. Well, we're doing that then. Um, so we want to be. 590 is what we want to be. So 590. And then... I don't know if I can afford this, actually. <laughs> we're going to find out. Uh, 7981. Uh, and we were up to 608. So 7573. Um, You know, it's only mediocre. But... That seems all right. I like, I want to do this. You know, I'm, I'm going to do this. Modify. Uh, have a train longer than the longest possible station. Nice. Uh, I want to sell this guy. I know it's got cargo on board, but I just don't care. So sell the vehicle. Got me 5 million back. Um, so this ought to be interesting. Let's <laughs> manage vehicle and make it red. All right. Oh my God. So, so far, it's, it's, it's over half a kilometer long, this train. <laughs> um, yeah, fair enough. Oh, I just, really? Just got another train, didn't I? That's not, that's not fair. That's, that's, that's not fair. That isn't, that's not fair. I'm not okay with that. Okay, fair enough. Well, we got another train. This thing's over half a kilometer long, which is great. Um, it is currently hauling a little bit of fuel. It's probably very expensive to, uh, to run that. But sure. How's the train behind dealing with it? It seems okay. If a little bit confused. You can... You know, you can look at him. He's not sure about this. He's he's really not sure about this. He's quite confused. He's a little bit upset that he didn't get an upgrade, but whatever. Um, I'll tell you what I do think we should do here. This uh, this guy here, lot of um, lot of barrels backed up. Let me manage vehicles. Let me replace all of you with this guy. Make you that color. And I'd be half tempted to duplicate as well. But I don't know. I don't know if we can afford to do it. I'm going to do it. But I don't know if we can afford to do that. We'll find out is what we'll do. We will uh, We will certainly find out how things go. But that is, that is the longest train I've made. I know that some people have done like two kilometers. I know. I think. Um, I don't know if it was. I think it was RT Game did a four kilometer long train. So you can get pretty ridiculous with your train lengths. I know, I know that is a thing. So yeah, we um, are hopefully, I mean, there's 130 something units in here at the minute. We can hopefully get some more than that. Would be my hope because I think we're going to need it. 
Crude oil to Indianapolis is, uh, is not producing as much as it once was. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. All right. Well, this, this might backfire is what that tells me. There is a, there is a distinct possibility that, uh, that this will backfire. But honestly, I'm just curious. What can I say? I, I'm genuinely, at this point, I'm just more curious than anything else. I, I don't know if I should be messing about with uh, with trains and all that. It's quite an expensive thing to mess with. I talked in an episode of this uh, this series a couple of episodes ago that, uh, you know, when I was younger, I had like model train sets and stuff like that and about how I wanted to do things. Like, you can sort of mess about with model train sets. Actually, no, I'm putting, I realize I'm putting, I'm putting, <laughs> I'm putting more value on virtual trains when I can just reload the save than I am on physical model train sets that are quite old and quite valuable now. I'm, I'm going to retract that statement and say, yeah, if there's any train I should be messing about with, it's this one rather than like either A, a real train or B, a real model train that would be older than I am. So I th yeah, I think I'm on the right track. If you'll excuse the pun. Anyway, um, how are we looking here? 154. So you're coming in. You barely fit in the station, which is fair enough. So you're gonna, yeah, you are gonna load up on everything. 156. Oh, what's the problem? <laughs> no path. Why is there no path? Oh, hold on a minute. Um, <laughs> what? What do you mean there's no path? Um, oh, that's what you mean. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, right. Can we, um, can we do like this? There you go. Wait, what do you mean that fixed it? Okay. <laughs> I, I don't quite know how that works, but all right. Uh, how much oil do we have over here? Uh, 80. All right. So maybe one day this thing will fill up a little bit. Production here is still cripplingly slow, so that train might never fill up again. Which has me terrified that it may just lose a tremendous amount of money, but that's okay. That's fine. We're here to mess about with it, I guess. Anyway, uh, I do want to leave that to do its thing. We'll see how it does monetarily shortly. Uh, Hollywood, are you getting machines yet? You are getting machines. So that is production, is what that is. Uh, Steel-wise, down here, you have a little bit going to the machines. Done this way, we have got some goods. Production could just be a bit better, is what I'm thinking. I'm also thinking that um, in the grand scheme of things, I don't know if there is too much more that I want to do yet, because I kind of need to know if this thing is actually going to make money. Like, really, we, we kind of need to know whether or not it's going to make any money at all. Because if it doesn't, we have a problem. I'm also, as a further note, realizing that, I mean, it's a, it's what? It's a one to one there. Uh, it's a two to one there. So the train would never really be full going back. That's potentially a problem. I've also had another realization. Pomona wants machines. We could set up a train from here, like bring machines back down to here, set up a train to bring them to Indianapolis, load them onto a different train and drop them off in Pomona. And to do that, we just need to edit the trains that we have a little bit. I say a little bit. A considerable, considerable bit for this one. Which has 273 units of, uh, <laughs> of, uh, of crude oil on there. Uh, yeah. We might... What is my ca camera? Hello? Uh, we might... We might have reason to make this train... Longer. I, well, I say that. I say long. <laughs> like this, this guy's just sat here going, why? Why, why have I been made to suffer? <laughs> I 
think it's fair to say that Thomas had never seen such bull before. So yeah, we'll just, you know what? You're, you're fine. You know, I'm actually gonna, we're gonna make you a different color. Manage vehicle, blue. There you go. Looks a bit, looks a bit weird with the, the cars not being same color, but whatever. That's, that's all right. We'll just leave it be. I just want to see what happens. I'm going to be completely honest. I just kind of want to see what, why is this producing so well? Crude oil to oil, crude oil to, like Indianapolis isn't, but the, the crude oil to oil line is doing amazingly. I don't know. I, 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 hmm. I don't know what to think. Anyway, our giant, the, the Chungus is, uh, well, we, are, we already have the HMS Chungus, but I want to see how much this makes right here on this delivery. 6.8 million. It was not worth it at all. Can it get out of there? Is it able to leave? It is. Hold on. Is it actually... Uh, no. No, it is not. Hold on. It is not actually able to leave. Hold on. So do that. There you go. Now you're actually able to leave. All right. So crisis averted. It's only carrying 55 units of fuel. That's, uh... <laughs> Oh, uh, so much of this is being wasted as well. It's just not getting moved. I don't know what to do about that, though. I really don't. I'm really not sure what to do about that. I mean, this guy's producing. That's great. Hmm. Maybe we move this around? Let's see here. Some cargo items are lost because the station is overloaded. So make the station bigger? Maybe, maybe that's a thing. Maybe it's a thing, we'll find out. We will figure it out. Uh, rotate you, how many platforms do we need? We need one on the right and four on the left? No, we just need, okay, well, we'll do it this way. That's fine. We'll do two on each side. We'll just do two on each side. Um, rotate you to be like that. That is sort of connected to everything. And then I guess we need to go to you, manage line, and what way are we doing this? So you need to go and you need to go there. So then at the annex, uh, that, that should be fine. That seems to be working. Uh, so you, fuel to Greensboro, you don't do anything. Whatever. We'll take that out, add you there. That should be fine. Um, we'll bulldoze you. Yes. Uh, and we'll just extend this, like, way back and see if that does anything for us. I don't know if this is the way, I, I don't know if this will do anything. But we'll see. Maybe these... Maybe this does just need to be a considerable amount longer. So the whole way back there. And then the whole way back here as well. All right. So we just lost all that fuel. Uh, that's depressing. Um, oh, well. Goodbye, I guess. To, uh, to all of that. Yay. That was a, a lot of fuel we're not going to have. That's a lot of fuel we're not going to have. Good Lord. Uh, what do we got here? 119. So that production there has picked up a little bit. Uh, and here we only have 65. Which is a bit of a worry. Are you making money? Uh, maybe not. What are we looking at here? So this guy, this, this is turning money in there. You are not. Is that a frequency thing, I wonder? It could be. It could be a frequency thing. I don't know if I want to try buying another train, though. And then the passenger line's not really making anything either. Yeah, the passenger line is just awful.
could be a frequency problem as well. Looking at it, I mean, we do have 52 passengers there. We have a lot of passengers there. And like no one down here. Could be, it could be a frequency thing. I, I wouldn't know myself. We'll have to figure it out. Either way, we do have money though. So I think we'll pause for a second and we'll play around with uh, what else we could be doing here. Cause Hartford wants machines as well. So Hollywood wants machines, Hartford wants machines. So, hmm. Yeah, I, I think we could do, yeah, we could do that. We could, we could move, maybe try moving machines to Hartford. We'd probably just want to do that on a, I don't know. We could maybe try and do that on a truck. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, what else was there? So tools to Greensboro. Are we making tools anywhere right now? I don't think we are. We, uh, no, we're not currently making, are we making tools? Weren't we gonna make tools? Was that not a thing I said I was gonna do? Or what, did I just focus on machine? I think it was, no, it was goods and machines. Tools, where do we make tools? Let me, so tools get made down here. Suppliers are there. So let me find uh, sawmill consumers. Tools factory in Tampa and Indianapolis has a tools factory as well. So Indianapolis, yeah, Indianapolis does have a tools factory. So we could take planks up to Indianapolis, which we are doing, make some tools. They don't need it. And then ship the tools to Hartford. It's great green. Oh. Oh, we could, we could actually ship more things to, I keep saying ship, ship with a P by the way. I realize it might be cutting off the sign of the plosive at the end of the P, it's ship, huh. all right? We are shipping, uh, I'm saying it fast as well, it doesn't help. We are shipping, uh, we're, we're already moving stuff to Greensboro. So, you know, it's a really good thing we don't make clothes. Can you imagine shipping your pants? Like, ship your pants? Is that fast enough? You know? Anyway. Uh, <laughs> moving on. Moving on. 